What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel and today I have another video for you guys. This is the first video of 2019 so I hope you guys are back and with me. Um, I'm planning on this year doing a lot of videos, better up the quality and just uh, bring better quality videos to you guys. So I hope you guys stick through with me and enjoy the videos. So today I have the first video of 2019 and that's the five shoes every man should have for 2019. So, I mean, I have them all right here so you guys can see, but I will be going through each one of them and explaining why, in my opinion, every guy should have these shoes. So, let's get right into it. So, first up, I want to start with a pair of beaters. reason why they're number one on the list is because, just like myself, I just want to get ready, throw a pair of shoes on, and not have to worry about anything. So, this is why I first picked the pair of beaters. So, right here, these are my pair of beaters. I literally wear it, like, every day. And I'll just throw them on with whatever I have on and just go about my day. These is the Reeboks Classic. Um, I got them for around $40. When it comes down to a pair of beaters, it doesn't matter the color. It's about how they fit, how much you like them like these. I feel like the color white and then since it's a pair of beaters, obviously, they're going to get really dirty. So it gives them more of a, it gives them more character to the shoe. And this is why specifically I have these as my pair of beaters. Plus, I feel like the quality is super good. It has like really good leather. They're super comfortable. And they I feel like they just look better beat up than brand new. So this is why I picked up the Reebok Classic. I got them for around $50 when I bought them. They were on sale. So this is number one shoe of the list. Let me get more volume. 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 Let me get so right here I have my Yeezy's 500s and my Yeezy's 700s. You guys already know what they look like. These are the Wave Runners and these are the Yellow Tints. Reason why I picked out these shoes because both shoes are very versatile and I could wear them with a lot of things with whatever outfit. Yeah, some of them I have to be specific. But I think these are different shoes that not a lot of people have. They're hot shoes, so I mean, a lot of people know about them, but not a lot of people also have them. So I think that's a good thing. And also, not a lot of people are going to have them when you put them on and go out about your day. You won't see a lot of people. Like, sometimes I even wear them and I barely see anybody with them. So, I mean, that's another thing that I like about them. That's why I picked them up. Uh, and yeah, this is no... But I know a sign when I see it. So next up is the all white leather sneakers. Um, with this, I wanted to get a pair of Common Projects, but they're super expensive, and uh, I mean they don't fit my budget right now. So I found a great alternative for the Common Projects and New Republic. They make Chelsea boots, and they just came out with this uh the shoes right now that I have right here, and then the Kurt leather sneakers. They were like 50 bucks. They come in this nice little box. And I think it's just like the Common Projects. I wore them. I haven't yet wore them. I'm waiting until it gets nicer outside. But they look kind of just like the same. They're all white leather. They're super comfortable on the inside. Good materials. I think it's a steal. So, I mean, yeah. So, right here I have them. These are the Kurt Leather All White Sneakers. They also come in black. But I got the white ones because... I wanted that Common Project look, the Common Project vibe. They are 40 bucks, but I mean, the quality feels feels pretty good for $40 or 50. And then they're super soft on the inside. They, they have like this like, um, this is... they have like this sweater like material on the inside and they do seem like they're pretty comfortable. This is what they look like. I will show you guys the shoes. Yeah, this is 
number three on the list. Also, guys, every shoe that I'm showing you right here, I will throw them out on feet and I will show you guys what they look like on feet just in case you want to know. And the ones that I do can, I will link it down below in the description. Um, I'm really trying to up my quality here and, you know, just do a bit of, just do better videos overall here. So, I mean, I hope you guys are liking it. Uh, I have a list of all the bunch of videos I want to do for 2019. So I'm just getting to the grind right now. So yeah. Another thing about this shoe is just that you can wear it in many occasions. You could throw a nice pair of, de pair of denim with them, a nice little outfit, and then boom, you can also dress them up, dress them down. So many things that you could do with an all white leather and it's all up to you. Um, and they're, they're comfortable, they're, they're affordable, and it's just a steal, so. Next up, as the same brand as New Republic is the New Republic Chelsea boots. You guys already know I'm big on Chelsea boots, especially I have five of them and all five of them are from New Republic. I think they're the best ones for the price. They they really have do great material. I mean, they're comfortable. They're they're not expensive. They're like with tax 115 maybe, uh, maybe less than that to be honest. So I mean, they have a whole bunch of colors. So next up is a pair of Chelsea boots. I think that's number four on the list because reason why I picked up the Chelsea boots as number four is because every guy needs a pair of boots. It could be Chelsea boots. It could be any type of boots. But right now, I just picked the Chelsea boots. You guys already seen them, so I won't be showing that to you guys, but I will throw them on feet. But reason why I picked this because, as like I said, you could dress them up, dress them down. It's just a different vibe. Let's say you go on a day, you don't want to wear a pair of fucking whatever shoes, you know, you, you want to dress up a little bit nicer. So you throw the Chelsea boots on, throw a nice little outfit. Not a lot of people do wear Chelsea boots, even though like a lot, it's been in style, but you guys get what I'm saying. So this is why I picked up. Chelsea Boots as number four on the list. Now we'll throw it on for you guys, so I hope you guys enjoy. So next up, number five on the list is the pair of gym shoes. And these are my EQT Adidas. And here they are. Um, these are super light. The mesh is super thin. I use them to work out, obviously. Um, Lately, 2019, I've been trying to get a lot in the gym and, you know, and just work out and, you know, take care of yourself, your body, your health, mentally, physically, you know, we only get one body and, you know, you got to take care of it. So right now I've been, these are my gym shoes. They're super comfortable. Uh, I keep them clean. I do wear them outside of the gym also, but mainly is in the gym. They're super comfortable. Um, it's a mesh. Uh, these were around eighty dollars when I got them. They're super comfortable. They have this like little rubber here, sort of like a grip or whatever. I don't really know, but I mean, yeah, this is what they look in the bottom. They have the three stripes right there, and yeah, it's just a nice little look. They fit true to size. These are a size nine and a half. So yeah, and I will throw them on feet for you guys so you guys can see what they look like. Top five shoes a guy should have for 2019. They goes from beaters to all classic white leather to boots to hype shoes and to gym shoes. I think every guy should have a pair like that. Not the exact same, but you guys get the idea. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will link down below all the shoes. I will throw them on feet for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.